Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we'll be discussing about skull fractures and mostly we'll be covering depressed fracture as well as the bewelling. Both the topics are very important for exam point of views. So the, uh, these are different sutures of skull. Skull is having outer table, inner table and then deploy in between. So there, uh, there is a sagittal suture, coronal suture, lambdoid suture, etc. in this skull. So stay tuned, keep on watching about different mechanisms of skull fracture. Now let's discuss. So skull is having basically uh, two type of mechanisms of skull fracture. So first is the local deformation injury as a result of local deformation because of local force or local site of impact. So what happens in case of local deformation, there is a localized deformation of skull or second is the general deformation in which there is a general deformation of skull. So what is local deformation suppose the site of impact is that this area is the site of impact or the site of force in case of local deformation so what happens uh, as we have just discussed this this is the outer table of the skull and uh, and and there will be inner table of skull and in between uh, there is deploy okay so outer table, inner table and deploy. So this is the site of impact. Site of impact is this area. So due to this local deformation, the inner table will be fractured. Inner table will be fractured at the site of impact. Okay. And what happens at the margins due to traction force, due to traction force, the outer table will be fractured at the margins of the force applied so this is the fracture which is seen in case of local deformation mechanism now about general deformation similarly like this is the skull so skull can be compressed between two hard surfaces by anterior posterior compression or right to left compression so in both the mechanisms we can see different kind of skull fractures and this is the general deformation mechanism of skull fracture so basically we are having two mechanisms one is the local deformation second is the general deformation of skull and 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 the most common type of fracture is the fissure fracture fissure fracture or otherwise also known as a linear fracture this is the common uh, type of fracture which is seen in skull now second fracture is the depressed fracture depressed fracture and uh, this fracture is also known as signature fracture this is also known as signature fracture because you can cross check the shape of the injury shape of the fracture can be can be correlated with the shape of the weapon so it is can be used at time can be used as a as a uh, good or the potential evidence for correlating the shape of injury and finding out the alleged weapon of offense so that's why the signature fracture is very much important at time now as you can see this is the depressed fracture and there is a outer table then inner table so at the site of impact this is the site of impact where the inner table is fractured and at the margins the outer table is fractured uh, fractured so this is the depressed fracture or signature fracture so site of impact pay Aapka inner table hai and the margins pay due to traction force the outer table is fractured now what is bewelling so beweld margins beweld margins this is also at times may be confusing for uh, uh, some students so this is uh, outer table this is inner table and this is the brain matter okay or oh, this is outer table this is inner table and this is the uh, brain matter now suppose at uh, towards the entry wound towards the entry wound there is um, the outer table is supported by the inner table okay there is a support for outer table that is inner table at the entry wound so the but the inner table is not supported by anyone because and it's having brain underlying brain is there so at entry wound the inner table will be having tapered margin or the beveled margin will be seen at the uh, the inner table towards the entry side be well means tapered margins these are the margins which are seen towards entry side in case of 
the entry wound towards the inner table side clear now this inner table will be uh, tapered margins will be having tapered margins towards entry wound now similarly uh, towards exit side the uh, what happens towards the exit wound this inner table is having underlying brain and this inner table is supported by the outer table okay so there is a support for inner table that is outer table but there is no support for outer table there is no support for outer table so that's why outer table will be having beveled margins or tapered margins uh, towards exit wound so inner table will be having the beveled margins towards entry wound and outer table will be having beveled margins towards exit wound so this is about uh, beveling and this is seen in firearm and entry as well as exit wounds okay so this is about something about beveled margins now uh, let's uh, let's uh, see in this video like this is the outer table this is the outer table and the uh, towards inner side that is the inner table so as you can see the inner table is having tapered margins the margins of the inner tables are tapered tapered margins so this is entry wound because there is no support for inner table so that's why this is the entry wound so thank you so much keep on watching and stay tuned and please do subscribe for instruct thank you so much